welcome to the garden. This is an iris that just grows wild here in Minnesota, right on the edge of the lake. It's really a beauty. It's called iris versicolor, or northern blue flag. And although it's called blue flag, it's actually kind of purple. It's purple and yellow, which makes it just perfect for Minnesota. Those are kind of the Minnesota colors. They're kind of symmetrical in thirds. They seem to have three of these patterned petals. So they kind of draw in insects from all over the place with that beautiful petal pattern. Here's a few more blooms. We've got one fully open and then another one on the way. They're just stunning, aren't they? We've got a bunch more too. These ones are about to bloom. We've got three just on this one stalk. And then this one has one that's just starting to open. and then one right behind it as well. And then these two really look incredible right now. They really grow right on the edge. They kind of make up the shoreline. Some of them in the ground, and some of them are actually directly in the water. And that's where they keep their roots. Their roots are down there underwater. So they really like to be wet. It amazes me that they can survive the winter being frozen solid here on the pond's edge. They have beautiful, long, grass-like leaves. And right here at the water's edge, they provide a lovely little habitat for wildlife. Looks like something's kind of been eating them. There's a little bloom there that's underwater, severed from the plant. And there's a couple more out here too. 
Looks like something was chewing on the stems, maybe. I did read that the rhizome was poisonous, so I don't think they're after the rhizomes. Here's a little swimming spider. They have those little legs that just provide that little surface tension so they can kind of float and run on water. I had no idea toads could swim. I knew they were amphibians, but I always thought they were the dry amphibian. But look at that. I've never seen a toad do that. That's amazing. Way to go, little toad. There's a little dragonfly nymph just past that lily pad. It's coming right underneath it right now. There's an airplane. <laughs> but it looked like that little dragonfly nymph had a snail or something in his mouth. There's a fully grown one dragonfly. Flying around. I love dragonflies, they're so cool. There's a bunch of little tadpoles. Probably can't see them, but I'm trying to put them in the center of the frame. It's just so small. They're hard to see. But there's a bunch of tadpoles about. We've seen little dragonfly nymphs, tadpoles, and minnows. There was a little bug that sped across the water like a little speedboat. It looked like he was walking on the water and then using its wings to propel itself across. It just looked like a little speedboat. <laughs> it was really cool. There's a little water bug. There must be a ring of fish going around the entire pond because the whole time we've been here for about a half an hour I've seen just a continuous stream of these little minnows. They just keep coming and going and they must just make a huge ring all along the pond which is just incredible. such a beautiful day.